Nigerians would know. I have time without numbers. I've come out to say the plans of the sixth division. I have said that they want to make sure that the election is being compromised, that they want to read the election, and they want to cause violence. And I did say to the international community that if there's violence in, the, in River State, that is hold the sixth division, particularly the GOC, responsible. And I did say that they were after my life, uh, even though they went to have a federal uh, defense, which was no uh, water. I heard about what the public relation of the Nigerian Army, the C Division, said, which is very, very unfortunate. We showed lack of respect for constituted authority. What I may see, what he did today in a democracy, he called that a coup to overthrow uh, a constituted uh, government. That is what played out uh, today. But let's take it, uh, you know, according to the allegation. He said that I spoke to an army officer. I hope you listen to the so-called tape. I have every right. So many people have been arrested that day. And I've already before now made allegations that they intend to arrest PDP leaders. On that particular day, Dr. Litonya called me and said, look, we have been arrested while we're escorting as agents of the party, escorting the materials to go to Odioku, Odioku community, their own unit. And they were confronted, and they told them that they were agents of the party. They said, no, they were not going to leave them. And they said, okay, if you're not going to leave us, they will not also allow the materials to, to move. I said, where is this? And he told us, okay, can I speak to the officer? Why he should I arrest you? He said, the officer said they were not going to speak to me. I said, okay, you relax, don't bother. Later, he sent me a text that the officer said, he's sorry that I can now call him. I said, what is the problem? He said, oh, they were at the junction and they comforted these people. I said, but, so what is the position now? He said, no, don't put it. And I said, okay, I was, they let the man see you back and resolve the problem. Let anybody say where I said that you should do something I did not do and I'm going to give him so, so. Then let them let them show the type 20 times. It's unfortunate. The thing that if they tell Nigerians, let them see what I said, do this for me, I'm going to settle you. I'm going to give you such an amount of uh, money. They have nothing to say. Now, the major problem which they should defend, that INEC officials came out and testified that the military came and carted away electoral uh, materials and went away with electoral personnel to dubiously go and prepare results. You are aware that the electoral also of equal local government sent out an SOS message that, look, I have been put under detention here that I must write results for them. And that was led by a brigadier general of the Nigerian Army with the Minister of Transportation. Was it me that was compromising the electoral officer of the Korean local government to write that result, who indeed was compromising. The EO, when Leo, the EO of the Okrika local government, did say one Captain Inua led the team that came to cut away the electoral materials of the Okrika local government. Am I the EO? Am I an ANAC officer who alleged that the military came and collected all their materials? Did the Nigerian, did the Sixth Division defend that to say it was not correct? The EO of Omeawa local government did say the same thing. Now, these are the electoral officers of INEC who have alleged that this was what they were doing. And this was what I have read before now, that this was what they are trying to do in this 23rd of February presidential and national assembly election. Now, instead of them to explain that to the whole world, they are not diverting that I tried to compromise them. How did I try to compromise you? In what way? I read it, and it does not make sense to anybody. It does not make sense to anybody. You saw a government officer 
with two million naira. So what does that make? Does that make sense to me? Did you see money with me? Did I give you money? So if you see anybody who's working in government house and he has money with him, it means he was sent to come and compromise and they said a central bank. Is there any pulling boot at the central bank? Does it make sense? You see, they don't think before they come out to make statements. Now you say you saw vehicle with government number. What is my business? After all, armed robbers even carry people's car and put a different number. So what is my business? Any vehicle you see that somebody puts government number means that the governor is aware that the person was going to do something that's not supposed to be done. It doesn't make sense to me. Everybody has seen that the way this state was militarized. In fact, if this kind of militarization had happened, where they are fighting with Boko Haram, by now we would not have any, any, any problem called uh, Boko Haram. The way they militarized River State, in order to make sure somebody was not disgraced. But Nigerians, everybody has seen the result. Everybody has seen what has happened. You cannot change the will of the people. It is difficult. So I have never one day at my level, if I want to compromise them, can they mention one officer that will say, met with me? So what I will do is they call an officer on the road, like uh, one officer on the road, I can imagine. So what would that officer do? He will change the entire 23 local government uh, result. It is not correct. They should go and tell Nigerians why did they go and compromise the electoral uh, process. The thing is going around, the whole world is aware. International observers, they came, they saw. So in order to divert public attention, they have to look, let us say the governor tried to compromise us. We have been prepared for this election. We have been prepared for it. So it's not as if we are not prepared. Ask any party that campaign more than the way we campaign. So who is more prepared for the election? So with all due respect, judgment of the press, the, the allegation is very mischievous. It shows how this lawyer they are to consider authority. And it's telling me, after all, it is my tax money and as a taxpayer, I pay tax. That's the money they used to pay them their salaries. So what is he talking about? To tell you people think that when a military government, and look at even the way to show they have no respect for human rights. Look at how the people you claim to have arrested, and you change them. You tell when a military tribunal. That's why I say it's another form of plotting a coup against constituted uh, authority. We are not a military government, and they should understand that. And look at even when he was speaking, to show you how offensive it can be. He started speaking in a language that's not the, 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 the general language all of us uh, understand. You are addressing the press, live coverage. You diverted to a language. It's quite appalling. So that is my, that is my defense. So, uh, you don't give it any attachment because they, they just want uh, uh, attention. They should defend how they went to Akrika to cut away materials. They should defend how they went to Emoha to cut away materials. They should defend how they went to a uh, local government to cut away materials. They killed people in Emoha. Was it wicked? They killed a lady in uh, Degema. I don't want to talk about that Abonema issue. So, they should be able to tell Nigerians, this was our role. Don't go and arrest innocent people. Even you arrest, you arrested INEC officials. I say they are not INEC officials. And they were raising their hands, so when they were raising their hands. So it doesn't make sense. Calling my name would mean, okay, yes, uh, they are calling uh, Wiki. It's true, he did so. Let them play the tape to the entire world and see where I was compromised. I spoke to not less than 10 army officers when I heard that they were arresting our people. And I'm the chief security officer. I have every right to do that. And if they do it again, I will call them and harass them. You have no power to arrest our people. Even if they arrest those people, ordinarily they should have transferred them to, to, the, uh, to the police. So they are just keeping them to see whether they can have a compromise or where they, 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 they think that Nigerians will not pay attention to atrocities that they have committed. Look at now what they are planning in the month of March uh, election. They are not planning that they will cause crisis so that the governorship and House of Assembly election will be cancelled. That is what the, the sixth division is not plotting. Did they win? The, the, the president can did, did they win in rivers? There are areas you cannot win. It doesn't matter whatever you do. 
If there are areas that are no go areas, and you you don't go and kill people because you want somebody to win. You look at how people go and shed innocent blood simply because they want somebody to get to the five percent, or they want to satisfy the ego of one or two individuals who cannot win their local governments. We are, we are doing a, a, a petition to the International Criminal Court. We also signed a petition to the Human Rights uh, Group, and we have also written a petition to the various. Uh, embassies attaching the uh, pictures. Luckily for us, before now, we have sent petitions to the American embassy, to the British High Commissioner, to the European uh, Union, and to the Chief of Army Staff. We did. And to Mr. President, we did. We said, look, this is what we're hearing. And we also sent to INEC chairman that these people want to compromise this election. Therefore, call the Chief of Army Staff to caution his men that it will not, you know, it will, it will not uh, portend, it will portend danger if they allow this to happen. So we have before now written to the appropriate authorities, and we have again written to now uh, the, the foreign uh, mission, the International Criminal uh, Court, to say this is what they did. Yes, they may claim that they have the power to do whatever they, they, they want to do. I know of what they are plotting. As I speak to you now, I know that they are plotting. They thinking that I will come at and then there'll be a shootout on me, and then they will claim that the police that shot me. We're all aware. I have never seen how a military will, will, will take election as their personal, it has become personal to them. They will determine who will be or who will not be. And unfortunately in this state, it, it, it will not work that way. No matter the number of people you kill, it, 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 will, not, it will not solve the problem. The people have made up their mind where they are going to. And what does it pay you in taking innocent people's blood? Life. Whether you want to impose somebody. You feel happy that today, look at Abonima, a very quiet community. See what you have done, you are happy. And what led to that? Because you personally want to involve yourself in election. And it's unfortunate, very much unfortunate. How would they say? Because they, 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 they never expected that kind of reaction. You can't be a judge in your, own, uh, in your own matter. It cannot be. You, are, you cannot come and parade them. You have no such power. We are not in a military uh, tribunal. You are merely saying that an offense was committed. Does not mean that the allegation has been proved to be right. You cannot come and change the narrative. And so the people have to react. If you say that they were unruly, what about they themselves that have, that have made sure that they violated all known laws? All known laws. After all, the military was not supposed to be directly involved in election. Their business was to protect people. But well, in this case, they left the issue of protection and was killing. Let them defend what happened in the Kuri local government. Let them defend what happened in Okrika. Let them defend what happened in Emorwa. Let them defend it. It's not to come and say the governor tried to compromise us. Because what do you mean by compromise? That you that have already gone to compromise the electoral uh, process is telling me that I came to compromise you.